Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School down here at the Outfitters Kitchen outside the Pathfinder School classroom. And what I thought I'd do today is I'm not much of an unboxing video kind of guy. Those videos wear me out. So we're going to talk about the Motorola Defy today, and this is the box. It's already been unboxed. And this is what it looks like, all right? It's a very small device. I'll get some close-ups of this thing for you while we're out working with it. I want to do some testing with it today and show you that on film. What does this device do for you? What it does is it turns your cell phone via Bluetooth to this device into a sat phone. So that if you don't have cellular service where you're at, you can turn this device on. And if it's paired with the device and you have a subscription to the service, which you get like a year of basic plan when you buy this device, like spot, in reach, and all those other things that have a service fee, depending on how many bytes you want of data or information you want to send over this device. But it's very much exactly like text messaging once you download the app that goes with this device called Bullet. You turn the device on and it finds satellites. And at that point, you open the app and you are connected to the device. And if your phone has no service, it will send through satellite uplink to that app. The person on the other end receiving the message needs to have that app. If they don't, it will go to their phone, regular messaging through your contacts, but it will prompt them to download the app to see the actual message itself and respond. It's really simple, to tell you the honest truth. The device is small. It's lightweight. You can hang it off your pack when you're walking through the woods. I would probably just stash it in my pack, honestly, and not even have it on unless I needed it. But that's really up to you how you work with the device. It does lots of things. It has tracking abilities and things like that where it will track on a live map where you're at. All the things that a lot of those other devices will do. This is just a very small device and it works very, very well. And I think it's cheaper than most of the other ones as well. And it's Motorola, so you know it's going to be guaranteed good quality. Now, it has a button on the side for an SOS. Hey, come get me. I'm screwed, right? It also has a check-in button on it where you can set up a check-in message and you can send that through the phone app or you can just push the check-in button and it will automatically send that message out to your chosen recipient. In my case, it's my wife. And we'll test that today out in the wildlife area. And then it has an area where you can plug it in to charge the device because it's rechargeable. And it also has a power button. It's very, very simple. A check-in button, a power button. You have a couple lights on here that show you that you're sending a check-in or that you have satellite or that your power's on. And then you have a panic button, basically. A come get me, I'm screwed button. That's pretty much all there is in this device. Everything else is done through the app on your cell phone. So it turns your phone into basically a satellite phone, like I said. We're going to take this thing out and we're going to actually test it. I went through what you have to do. When I got the device, you have to set up an account, put your information in there, select the password and that kind of stuff, select the plan that you're going to pay for. Um, again, I think it comes with a year basic plan free when you buy the device. And then it's as simple as going to the Bullet app, setting that up, pairing the device to your phone, you're ready to rock and roll. So let's go out and test this bad boy, see if it works. All right, so we're out in the wildlife area today, and remember that this device is kind of a smart device, and it will not send or uplink through satellites if your phone has any service at all. So because there is spotty service out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings for this test. And find it. Here's all this crap on my phone. And I'm going to put my phone in airplane mode, and that's going to make sure that I have no data or cell service. Okay, now I'm going to open the Blue It app. I know that I can see that my Bluetooth is connected and you have to pair the device when you first get it. 
A Bluetooth is connected, the satellite is green, that means it's got satellite service. Now, I've got this set up with a check-in so that I can just click check-in and I set up in my account that my wife was my emergency contact. So if I hit this check-in and hit swipe up to hit send, it's now sent a check-in nearby hotspot. That's the phone I'm filming with. No, I don't want to join that. It sent a check-in with my exact lat long to my wife. And now if she has this app, she can respond back that she's received it. I can also send her just a plain text from this. Easy enough. Love you. Everything is fine. Hit send. And it goes out like any other text message to her blew it app or bullet app, excuse me, to her bullet app. She can see that she's received a text in her regular text message, but it'll tell her, prompt her to download the bullet app to actually get the message itself. And now once she receives it, she can respond in that same app to me. We'll go back here. There's the last message I sent to her was, love you, everything is fine. And when she comes back to me, that message will appear there. Okay, so there's her response back. Love you and the time. So you've got a check-in telling her I love you and everything's fine where I'm at. And I love you back from her. All of that done through satellite uplink with no cell phone service. Okay, guys, like I said, this is the Motorola Defy. It's a new product on the market. Brand new, basically. Look it up on the internet. Check it out. I'll see if I can get you guys some kind of a code or something like that to plug in. I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can't. I haven't sent them any messages yet to find that out. They're actually sending us two of these devices, so we'll have them at the school for MCOM, so that one of them will be connected to my phone. That is the one caveat to this. It has to be connected to a single phone. The account is connected to a single phone number. So I'm going to give the other one to use to the instructor that's here the most, and then connect it to his phone, so that if they're in the wildlife area and there's a problem and they don't have cell phone service and they can't, race someone on ham radio through the repeater. This is basically our tertiary backup. And it's exactly how I'm looking at this as a tertiary backup for emergencies when I'm out running around as well, because I have my cell phone. If it's not working, I also have a ham radio and there are several local repeaters that I can hit in this area and repeater lists that I can use throughout the United States if I need to. And if I can't race someone that way, then I can always go to this. So it's a good tertiary backup system for MCOM if you are recreating in a wilderness area. Listen, guys, I appreciate you joining me for this video. I appreciate everything you do for my school, for my family, for my business, for all of my sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll certainly be back with another video as soon as I can. I know they're a little bit sporadic right now, but I have to do them in between classes because we teach classes almost every single weekend over the next two, three months and for the past two months. So I don't really have time to sit down and dedicate to a lot of video. So I kind of sporadically make them when I can, when I have time, when I've got a product I need to review, when I've got a new piece of kit that's coming out, when I've got something I'm developing, or if I can just show you a quick and dirty trick or skill, I try to get that done for you and upload them so that you have you know, those available to watch in the interim when I'm doing other things. Thanks, guys. I'll be back soon.